Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and I've got another really short Logic Pro quick tip video here for you today. This is a question I get asked a lot, and uh, Texas T Bird 69 asked this on one of my Logic Pro Essentials videos. Can you fade on session drummer or session piano regions? I can't seem to make it work. It is not a compatibility issue. You cannot add standard, you know, traditional fades to any MIDI type regions. So this includes session player regions for drummer, piano, and bass. This includes MIDI regions, and this also includes pattern regions. The traditional way of, you know, holding shift and control and dragging over an audio region to add a fade does not work on any MIDI type of region. Uh, alternatively, if you try to use the fade tool like you can for audio, this is not going to work. It's just gonna end up moving the regions. So that's the bad news. Yeah, it's 2024 and we still don't have fades on MIDI regions yet. That seems crazy to me as well, but uh, it is what it is. Instead of focusing on the problem, let's focus on some possible solutions. So I'm gonna show you two different workarounds for this. With a traditional audio fade, this is fading in the gain of the region before it even hits the fader. So as you play a fade, you're not going to see the track fader move at all. These workaround methods for doing this with MIDI are going to involve something called automation. Now, if you're brand new to automation, automation is a way to control track and region parameters across time. You can pull up automation just by pressing A on your keyboard. And what you'll see is by default, you should get a volume automation control and this should be in track automation. If it's in region automation, you can simply just click on it to switch it over to track automation. But we are gonna talk about region automation in just a bit. So for this first method, you can use track automation. If you don't see the word volume here, click here and then just make sure that volume is selected. And let's say I wanted to fade out or fade in this drummer pattern. All you do is you click out here. That's going to engage the envelope for the automation. You can click to create a new point in the envelope and then grab another point and pull it down, pull it up. You can also do things like this if you need to sort of step down the automation at a certain point and then have it come back up. So you can grab the actual like flat part of the automation uh, breakpoint envelope if you like. And then I can do things like this as well to fade out. The only thing that's gonna be tricky about this method is if you have other content to the right of that region, you're gonna have to draw in some new automation to bring the volume level back up. What also is kind of a little tricky with track automation is that if you want to increase or decrease the level of this track now, you've just locked in its volume level with automation. So you'd have to come in here and adjust all these points to where you want it to go, which may not be a big deal. Um, but for me, if I, if I have volume automation on a track and then I later wanna pull the whole drum kit up or down in the mix, what I'll generally do is I will add the gain plugin and I'll just use the gain plugin to step down or step up the, the volume level of that track. So now we should have a faded in and faded out uh, drum beat here. Just like with the fade tools, you can actually adjust the curve and shape of the fade. If you hold shift and control and hover your mouse over the automation fade we've created, you can make this more logarithmic. You can make it more exponential just by dragging up and down. You can also drag left and right to get two different S-curve type shapes. So there's a lot of cool things you can do here uh, with these automation fades. So that's one method. Another method is instead of using track automation to use region automation. So let's say that I've got this split in half like this and I wanna fade this out for some reason and then I want it to immediately jump back to full volume at five. What you could do instead of using track automation is use region automation. So this is automation that is inside of the region. So if you click on track, it'll switch over to region and then you can choose your automation value. And once again, there's a volume uh, region automation parameter. And then you can write in that automation. So I could do something like this. Maybe I wanna fade that out just like so. And then the next one, you're just gonna have to set it up here just like that and watch what happens.
The one thing that's good about region automation is it's a little easier to copy and paste. When you copy and paste things, it automatically will move the automation over. Whereas if you do this with track automation, it's going to ask you, do you want to, to copy the automation data? And you can say yes, and it'll still copy it over. But it's just it's one more click you have to do uh, in order to complete that task. So those are two workarounds with track and region automation to fade MIDI type regions. Again, this goes for session player regions, MIDI regions, along with pattern regions, because you cannot add traditional fades to these types of regions only with audio. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.